Hey guys, how's it going? Toby here and welcome back to On The Trot. This is episode 11 and we are well into this series by now. It's going very well. I know you guys do like this one and apologies for not being able to get it out sooner. This one is very difficult to do with my crappy internet. Basically, this one takes the best part of the day and when I can't upload on the same day, it's a bit of a pain. I'm very much looking forward to going back to university and then this series will come back a lot stronger, which is fantastic. But we are on a three win streak. In the last episode, I asked you guys, which gold player would you like me to get? Because they are the rules. If you are new around here, I can drop the rules in the description for you. That is not a problem at all. Completely fine. But we are on a three win streak. We did come up against a very difficult opponent in one of the previous episodes. And he did knock our streak down, which is very unfortunate. But we are going to keep carrying on, hopefully. Hopefully we can do well. If we win two games in this episode, the first two, we can get a brand new informed player. So, let's jump into that squad screen. So, this is the team that we're going to be going with for this episode. If we do manage the first two wins, I'll let you guys decide in the comments section below which informed player you would like me to get for this team. So, I have got around 60k, so make it around that sort of mark because I don't have too much on the PC anymore, although I could sell some players. Who knows? But leave a suggestion in the comment section if we get to that point. But for now, let's jump into that first game and see how we can do. Let's go. Now, this is the first game of the episode. We come up against Lionel Rich T. He's got a four and a half star team. Some very, very nice players in there. Neymar, Love, Fernandinho, Danilo, Kaka, Ramirez, Colo Torre, David Luiz, I really was not looking forward to this guy's team. It looked absolutely superb. I've played with the majority of those players and they're very good. However, Jovetic breaks completely free, very lucky indeed, and he just slots it straight past the keeper in the 29th minute. Absolutely superb. I was really pleased to get the first goal in this game. However, this guy clearly, clearly wanted to win really, really badly as he squares it across the face of the goal and pops it into the back of the net in the 48th minute with Wagner Love to equalise in the second half. However, he goes through again a lovely ball up through to Wagner Love. I completely misread that and somehow it does go through my keeper and into the back of the net in the 61st minute. Really, really gutted about that. I've lost the lead that I built up in the first half. Now we are through again with El Shirari and El Shirari just loops it straight past his keeper to equalise in the 71st minute. Absolutely superb. We've got our equaliser. Fantastic. However, he goes through really lucky on his part. I swear I tackled him and he does bury another with Vagnolov in the 86th minute. Surely that is the game over. He's very cocky. He's celebrating. He's doing his cocky little arrogant celebration and this gave me a massive boost of determination. I was incredibly motivated to beat this guy and then pass it around, get it over to Jovetic, straight past this player, hammers it into the back of the net, we get the equaliser in the 89th minute, so close and we go to extra time, thankfully I was worried he's going to call it a draw, but we do go into extra time and it's extra time and Vidal is through, Vidal absolutely hammers it into the back of the net in the 98th minute, we've taken the lead and then again Jovetic, we pass it up to El Shirari. El Shirari is trying to dribble around his player, gets past. Little McGinley spins straight past. I go for the finesse, it lands on Jovetic's foot, and bang! Fifth goal. The game ends there. We get another goal in the 105th minute, and it finishes 5 3. If you look there, I don't actually know what happened, but he did end up rage quitting. Absolutely brilliant. He obviously got a bit mad. That is exactly what we like to see. So the game ends 5 3. Like I said, what a superb victory. Really, really pleased with that. I thought I was going to lose that game, but it went very well indeed. Now, let's jump into the second game and let's see how we can do. If we win this game, that means you guys can suggest a brand new informed player for me to get into the team. Let's go. So, this is the second opponent of the episode and this guy's got a lovely team name there. Everybody dies. What a nice way to start a team and his side is very decent indeed on the right he's got Rogers left he's got Cummings he's also got David Beckham and O'Para now David Beckham does go on a bit of a run my defender decides to run into the other one and Beckham just slots it straight past my keeper in the 11th minute not good at all very unlucky on my behalf I was trying to defend quite well and then my other defender decides to run in and nudge me off the ball but 
Jovetic does bring us a little bit of luck. Basically, it goes in the air. He decides to pop it in his own net, and he gets an own goal with Opara. Absolutely hilarious. He did decide to skip the replay very quickly indeed. Now, Jovetic breaks through and hammers it from a fairly good distance in the 37th minute. He does bring his keeper out. That is his excuse, but a very nice goal nonetheless. And he does get through with coming some brilliant play there. And he does seal a equaliser in the 52nd minute. An absolute shame. And he is on the attack again, running down the wings, passes it in. Ceseres absolutely hammers it all the way over to El Shirari, falls beautifully down. And we do get another goal. It is lofted straight into the back of the net in the 68th minute. Absolutely fantastic. And that is how the game ends 3-2. Again, I was a little bit worried that we were going to go down there. Because I don't know what it is. I keep having to make these comebacks. And I keep kind of messing it up a little bit. And I keep going down in the first goal. Or I lose a goal. Or I lose my composure. I don't know what's going on. But it seems to be that I keep coming back. So that means we have got a brand new informed player. I will let you guys decide on which one you would like us to get. Like you can see there, I have got around 60k. -ish. I could sell some players to get a bit more money. Because I have got a fair few that I just don't use at all. Now that is the end of FIFA 12. So let me know which informed player you would like me to get. And I shall see which one I prefer. And then try them out for the team. So, let's jump into the third and final game of this episode. Let's go. Now, this is the third and final opponent of this episode. He's got a very nice team indeed. Four and a half stars. He's got Dede, Lucio and Julio Cesar in goal. He's also got Bravo up front. A very nice team indeed. And, unfortunately, he was a very difficult opponent indeed. He does get a free kick. At the start here, in the fifth minute, I don't know why, but one of my defenders decided to slide tackle him. And he does get a very nice goal indeed with Cortez in the fifth minute. A very nice way to start the game off for him. I'm sure he was pretty ecstatic with that free kick. But Jovetic is completely through and we loop it straight past this keeper in the 13th minute to get us the first goal for our team. We have equalised, but from the corner it was a little bit laggy. I couldn't really defend this, but Dede does get his second goal to put him in the lead in the 17th minute. I was a bit gutted. And then he goes straight through with Bravo. My defending was all over the place. And he hammers it into the back of the net in the 40th minute to put him into a 3-1 lead. I had a lot of work to do. And again, this I don't know what happened, but I was very unlucky there. Ogbonna decided to roll off his head. And then Bravo just slips it into the back of the net. I'm not sure if you can see that lag, but there was a little bit. I'm not making an excuse. This guy was just better than me. He really was absolutely destroying me. But we do manage to get a goal back off the post and into the back of the net in the 90th minute to make it 4-2. But, however, I do a bit of sloppy play. He goes and counters up the other end. Bravo again, an absolutely sensational player. He gets the ball back. Again, this was very lucky. Well, not really. My defending was terrible, but he just happened to be in the right place. And he does bury a fifth goal in the 90th minute. So, unfortunately... After a five win streak, we have lost our game. We have lost the streak and that puts us back to the start. Now it's completely up to you guys, but I did have a thought. It is coming to the end of FIFA 12 and I'm not sure if it's too late to do this, but would you like me to very quickly start again or is it too late to do so? I'm not sure. I could do another league or I could save it for FIFA 13. I'm kind of leaning towards saving it for FIFA 13. Because I don't know if I'd have enough time to get to a point where I could stop the series. Whereas at the moment, I'm doing quite well. I reckon maybe this could be our last streak for FIFA 12. Maybe it's completely up to you guys. I can carry on if you would like me to. But perhaps we could go for one final push. Go all out. Try and get as many wins as we possibly can. Just go absolutely crazy. Try our hardest. But for now, we do need one more informed player. So let me know in the description not the description, the comments down below which informed player you would like me to get and leave a suggestion on how you would like this series to pan out for the rest of FIFA 12. So if you could do that, that'd be fantastic. But that does conclude this episode. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Take care, have an amazing day, and goodbye.